much for tuning in to check out this video. This is the removal of two yellow jackets nests inside of a client's attic. These nests were about 15 feet apart, but they were about 10 to 13 feet away from the opening in which they were coming in from at the soffit above the door and about 15 feet away above a bedroom window. So these yellow jackets were coming in, they were crawling along the rafter into the attic space underneath the plywood, and then they were making their nest. So usually in my videos I show you guys me go in, I find the nest, I cut it out of the wall, I bag it, and I take it home and give it to my chickens. However, with this removal, I'm going to be showing you guys the investigative side of my process. When I go in and it's really hard for me to find the nest or it's difficult to locate the nest in the first place. So in this case, I'm going to be showing you guys how I identify where a nest is when it's not blatantly obvious. Coming in through the soffit and they were crawling along the rafter until they got into the attic space where I couldn't find them because they were underneath the plywood. So thanks for watching guys. Here's the video. Check it out. All right, so as you can see, these yellow jackets are coming in from a few different spots. Um, they're coming around that screw hole that was holding up um, a light fixture. And then they're also coming in through the corrugation of the soffit. And typically with any type of nest like this, you usually you just pop off the soffit, you can kind of locate the nest, and you move on from there. Um, these guys proved to be a little bit more complicated because where they were coming in from wasn't exactly where the nest was. So here you're kind of seeing me just pop it off. Taking the J channel, just bending a little bit so I can pop off the soffit, just so I can see up in between the rafters. I was hoping just to see the nest sitting right there, which is usually pretty common, but the fact that the yellow jackets weren't actually attacking me made me think that the nest wasn't right nearby. Um, they're not really going to just float around you like that if the nest is nearby. Usually they'll start attacking, they'll start latching on. All I did really was confuse them. And give them a second and see if I can see exactly where they're going because yeah. there's definitely an area behind the stone yeah. like I can see that there's a hole there but and look there's one just flew out so I'm assuming that's where they're coming from so just peeking up inside sticking my head in there and start trying to see if I could see anything that would show where the nest was but I really couldn't see anything hey. obvious so just traced one she went all the way back along this rafter okay. up inside the attic space okay. so for you know for me to be able to get up in there I mean I would try to access from up in the attic okay. down through the floor yeah. um, you know it's just trial and error to get sure. exactly so um, if you want if you want to like tap up here with the okay. with the golf club. They're not a like that's the other thing. Like it was really odd that they weren't attacking me. Right. Like they're not coming after me at all. Yeah. So uh, it makes me think I'm not near their nest. So I watched that one. She landed here and crawled across the rafter and just kept going back until she went between the insulation. I can't see her any further. Okay. So the nest must be, you know, like I was telling you they could almost be eight feet away from wherever they're entering. So if you wanted like if you just want to do that so I can know where you are. Okay. And then I'll go up there and I'll just I'll just do like an exploratory hole. Alrighty. Yeah, if you just um even if they fly down towards you, I don't think they're gonna do anything. You just kinda just do that. Okay. Just so I can pinpoint where exactly where we are. it is, yeah. Okay. And then uh, I'll go from there. Okay. Alright, I see it. <laughs> you see it? Yep. Well, I see, no, I don't see the nest. I see, <laughs> I see where you are. <laughs> Do you want me to cut into this and try to get it out? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I just want to just check with you. Yeah, no, that's... House, so. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. But are there uh, wasps flying around out there? Yeah. Okay, because I can hear buzzing. I just want to make sure I'm not hearing it from the floor. Yeah. I'll okay. cut a little, a little hole just so I can see if there's right. anything right there. And I don't see anything there, but that's not... I mean, where'd they all go? I don't know. Like, when you were up there messing with them, uh -huh. there was, like, a bunch of them that came... Like they keep trying to go through that original hole. I know. Which is silly. And then I saw, like, I've been watching ones. I'm, I'm hoping it's not down here because I've been watching ones coming in and out of here too. That, that might be a different one. I doubt that they're though. These ones are going that, that it's far. That's connected. Okay. Yeah. I'll start with, <coughs> start with this. <laughs> one at a time. One, yeah, one. Well, yeah. Yeah, because I mean. It's so weird. The fact that they're not attacking me. Right. It's. 
it's definitely indicative that they're not. Like that one, where'd that one come from? Oh. Now that I say that, I don't want to get stung. Right, exactly. <laughs> Let me, let me gander up there. I mean, look, see, that's what the one did. It flew up through here and yep. landed on this rafter and it walked back. It went straight back. And then I was watching other ones come out from there. But it's like you just can't see back far. I mean, I can see where to where I cut to. Okay. And I pulled the insulation out. Right. Just so I could, we'll get them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get them. <laughs> I'll put that back there. Yeah. <laughs> I see, I see someone that, exploring. We're going to keep that happy <laughs> yeah, right there. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate absolutely, this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sorry it took you a little longer than um, anticipated. I, it's but. totally fine. It's totally fine. All right. So I'm in a client's attic and they had yellow jackets coming in from their back door, which is all the way over there. So it's been exploratory. Um, I cut a hole here, which is about four and a half feet, five feet from that opening. I cut a hole there, couldn't find anything. So about 20 minutes of looking around, couldn't find where they were going. I could just tell that one was crawling along the rafter. This is between rafters. So I came up and cut this little exploratory hole, figured I'll bridge the gap between the two. And it, I cut, I drill in directly over top of it. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this thing open and get this out of here for this client. So that's the nest right there. So there's the nest. All right. So first thing, once I actually drilled down in, I drilled directly on top of this thing, which is like I don't know if you want to call it luck or just um, skill, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it's luck in this case because I was pretty. I was pretty um, baffled as to where they were. There's the nest. So once I actually cut in and was able to remove that plywood, you can see this nest isn't absolutely huge. It's it's, it's pretty small. It's the beginning of the springtime. Um, but they were going to end up having a problem once they actually got a little bit bigger. Uh, you can see there's a lot of uh, cross sections and various different um, cross member pieces of wood. But, I mean, they, they could have worked their way around that and built the nest around that and excavate out a lot of insulation. But at this point in the season, it was really just uh, just maybe three layers of comb. They were all worker cells, nothing nothing major as far as queen cells yet. It's too early in the season for that. But uh, So I just go in with a vacuum, vacuum up as many of them as I can, and uh, now you can see where they're getting a little bit more aggressive since obviously I'm around the nest, removing the nest. Um, but again, this isn't a late season nest, therefore, even when they do start swarming, there's not a lot of them there really to swarm. There's not a lot of guards in there. Um, so I pretty much just got all of it, vacuum up as much as I can, and then uh, and then fix the hole for the client. Uh, this up in that attic space, she told me not to worry about doing too much with fixing the hole, but anytime I cut into like flooring, I like to make sure that I seal up the hole pretty good. I don't want anybody stepping on an old hole that I cut open and breaking an ankle or something. And, me get a call six months later and then I have an insurance issue <laughs> so I always like to make sure that I button up holes that I make especially in the floors so just investigating around making sure I got all of it because even though it's the beginning of the season I have seen them where there's little satellite nests so even though it's a part of one big colony um, you do notice that there's a couple pockets here and there so I like to make sure I get all of it They pretty much just put a cross member piece of uh, two by four in there and then just laid the plywood back down on it and buttoned it back up. Just like putting a jigsaw puzzle back together. And then just put the aluminum uh, insulating sheet that they had up there, just put that back down on the top. It's never there. Round two, same attic. I am, I am hot. It is so hot. Oh. I'm like sweating. I feel like I like just jumped in the swimming pool with my clothes on. Up in this attic. Oh, God, I hope I don't have a freaking stroke up here. There's nobody home. And uh, I'm here. A client had noticed that there was another an area of entry. And she was hoping 
it was just the same nest. But I assured her that that was too far away to be the same nest. Uh, so, she asked me to, to handle it, and I understand that. And I'm just glad that I was still in the area. As a matter of fact, just getting ready to leave. Just under here, there's the nest. I can't believe that I drilled in pretty much right in the right spot. This is just so tight space. Fan's almost dead, so I gotta use my I gotta use my drill. Just, just building on the top of here. That's, that's a good little nest. I'm gonna vacuum most of these up real quick. All right, so just like the nest, it was about 15 feet away. Um, this was also an early season nest. It was not a multi-season nest. Um, so there's just the, the yellow jacket just getting started for the season. So by the end of the season, this thing could have been bigger than a basketball. This thing could have been pretty huge. Um, but what would happen is they would come in through the soffit. They, would, they crawled about 10, 13 feet. And then the queen founded the nest in this location. And what they would do is they would start chewing away that insulation. So you'll kind of notice... At some points when I have the uh, the drill light shining down, you'll see there's like a mar dark maroon spot in the insulation. And that is actually where they started chewing the insulation. So it's actually like really, really hard, crusty, almost reminds me of like cotton candy, like when you lick it and it gets really like crusted. That's what it, that's what it feels like. I and mean, it's kind of gross, but so that was them starting to chew. They would actually chew away this entire chunk of insulation and carry it out and drop it out in the yard and, you know, out like 20 yards away from the house. So you see that right there. That's, that is the crusty old insulation that they started chewing on. But it's amazing to me, just like a ground nest would excavate out soil, these guys would excavate out that entire thing of insulation. You go. Your pigeon. Your pigeon. Angel. Don't get ripped on me. Don't get ripped. Please. Pigeon. Pigeon's still in her molting stage. Keep molting, girlfriend. You'll have pretty feathers when you're done.
Hello. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Some chickens? Yeah, man. <laughs> One benefit to doing wasp nest removals. <laughs> yep. This is your, these were in-ground yellow jacket nests. Wow. That was one. That's one nest. Wow. <laughs> and this is a. That's another one. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you have suggestions for future videos or something you'd like to see me cover in an upcoming video, also drop in the comments as well and let me know. So I wanted to let you guys know I'm going to be coming out with my casting videos coming up, one with my epoxy casting of nests and adult wasps, and then another one with my aluminum casting with nests and adult wasps. So I've gotten all of my stuff together. I've been building my forms and things and pouring my molds. I'm really excited for you guys to see the footage. So stay tuned for that content coming up in the near future. And then after I'm done with the epoxy stuff, I'll be doing the aluminum casting as well. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to check out my videos and supporting my channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.